equations that we were looking at were our first example of polynomial functions. Today we're going to try to be able to talk about polynomial functions in general. So things that are cubic, quadratics, fourth degree, fifth degree, sixth degree lines. All of those are in there. Now what are we going to be able to do with our polynomial functions? Well, we're going to do some of the same things we've done before. We're going to find x and y intercepts. We're going to define something new. It's called n behaviors, and we're going to be able to describe those. We're going to write the equation of a polynomial function if we have its zeros. We're going to look at the graph of a polynomial function and determine its uh, minimal degree. And then we're going to solve word problems involving polynomial functions. Now we have several more things that we're going to be able to do. We're going to be able to find minimums and maximums, both min local and Just absolute, limits. and then find intersections. All of these, though, we're going to be doing on our graphs. If it is any type of equation that is a deg degree higher than 2, we don't have methods for solving this that are not graphical. So we will use graphs for those things. So we're going to look at each of these functions. Can you guys pull out your calculator and graph these? And I want you to look at what they have in common. In your thing? That's why I picked it. Because it's my thing. What was that? Do you know how to change? I added one. Change that. Look, it on the line. And it will flash it. So you go over there. Should be a problem. So you just hit enter on it. And it changes it. So like how we did more the line. Like a dotted line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get the lines. So you're graphing x squared x to the fourth and x to the sixth. What do they look like? What do they look like? So like the x squared is like kind of wide and it keeps getting like narrower. So they look like this. Yeah. All of them look like this. They're not all parabolas, only technically is x squared a parabola. <coughs> but they all look, because you can't be a parabola unless you have a degree of 2. So technically the rest of them are parabolas, but they all look like this. What do these things have in common? Other than they look like this. Uh, no, only the quadratic one has a vertex. What's even? This thing, the highest exponent on each one, also known as the degree, is even. So we've got even degree. What else do, do they all have in common? Leading coefficient. What part of its leading coefficient do they have in common? It's one. It's one. What else is it? Positive. It's a positive number. So the leading coefficient is positive. Smart kid over here. I love yeah. it. Whatever. So we have a even degree, yeah, first thing a positive know. leading coefficient, and now we know all our graphs look like this. Now when I'm doing this, if I were to add a whole bunch of stuff on to this x to the fourth, would it change the end parts of the graph? No, it would change the part that's here in the middle where you can't see because I'm in the way, but the end parts would be fine. The end parts are the end behavior that we're talking about. What happens when x gets really big in the positive direction or really small in the negative direction? So the way we describe getting really big in the positive direction is we say as x approaches infinity. The way we describe getting really small in the negative direction is as x approaches negative infinity. Now we're going to make a little table with our positive leading coefficient and what happens to our function as this happens. So what happens to the function? Where does it go? So I have an even degree of positive leading coefficient. What happens to my function as I'm heading off over to the right here? Where is it going? Up. Up. How do I describe what's up? Positive. Positive what? Infinity. Positive infinity. So I head off to positive infinity. By the way, the plus sign is not necessary. As I'm going off into the negative direction, what's happening to my graph? I'm also going up. Again, I'm going to positive infinity. By the way, that's also what this says. 
If I have a positive leading coefficient at an even degree, as x goes to infinity, f of x also goes to infinity. And as x goes to negative infinity, f of x goes to infinity as well. What happens when I make the leading coefficient negative?